We're gonna. Ha- our country's gonna have a terrorist attack. We're gonna have it on our land, and it's Joe Biden and his administration's fault. All right. Uh, over in the fever swamps, we have Marjorie Taylor Greene today uh, saying our country's gonna have a terrorist attack and our on our land, and it's gonna be Joe Biden's fault. Uh, I mean, I don't know where to start with all the problems with this. Uh, and on the one hand, it kind of seems like she's rooting for a terrorist attack, um, which I guess wouldn't be surprising because it seemed like she was rooting for the domestic terror attack that did happen on January 6th. Tomorrow, we're prepared to object to the stolen electoral college votes. President Trump was reelected for four more years. So let's get ready to fight for fight for America tomorrow. But I think it just also speaks to the total change in in decorum and and response uh, in the face of national security threats that we see now in the Trump era to what happened in years past. Uh, I mean, the the idea that after 9-11 that Democrats would have been out of the days after, like, blaming George W. Bush, saying he has blood on his hands, saying that his policies are causing this, blah, 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 uh, like, it would have been unthinkable. Uh, if, if John Kerry had said that in 2001, Fox would have never stopped talking about how un-American he is. Uh, he, they'd still be talking about that to this day. And yet that's just like the casual MO of Republicans now in the face of this Israel terrorist attack, an Israel attack that has absolutely nothing to do with Joe Biden or his policies. Um, you know, even Tim Scott, the relatively normal Republican senator candidate, said that Joe Biden had blood on his hands over that attack. Joe Biden has blood on his hands. That now Marjorie Taylor Greene is saying that Joe Biden is responsible for a hypothetical future terrorist attack that I guess is his fault because in her wild imagination, somebody is making it somehow from Gaza across the ocean into Mexico and then they're going to walk across the border since there's no fence there, even though Donald Trump promised that he was going to build a fence. We're going to build the wall. We have no choice. And, and then yet somehow that still is going to be Joe Biden's fault. I, I, don't, I don't know. It, it's all rather crazy. But I think it just speaks to uh, how debased uh, uh, the, uh, our political culture has become, but particularly how debased uh, you know, the rhetoric is from Republicans and from people on the right that at this moment of great challenge and great threat uh, to our al- ally Israel, uh, Joe Biden is over uh, in the country delivering a, a, a really strong remarks. I come to Israel with a single message. You're not alone. You are not alone. As long as the United States stands and we will stand forever, we'll not let you ever be alone. They were the type of remarks that in another era would have received bipartisan support and accolades because they speak for the broad, broad majority of Americans. Maybe not everybody, but the vast majority of Americans want us to be supportive of Israel in the wake of this terrorist attack. But unfortunately, we're not in that era anymore. And, and now we have a MAGA Republican Party that, that, that treats their domestic political foes as if they are terrorists, as if they are threats. And so now you have people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, you know, rather than finding the areas of common ground with Joe Biden, finding the ways that we can all work together to support Israel, um, uh, instead of pointing fingers at Joe Biden and saying that, like, for some, somehow he's responsible for the attack. So it's pretty gross uh, where where we've gotten, we've all gotten a little bit used to this during the Trump years, but that doesn't mean that it shouldn't be mentioned uh, just how far around the bend these MAGA radicals have gone. Hey, if you like this video and our content, I'd love for you to become a Bulwark Plus member. You get bonus podcasts, uh, you get bonus newsletters, you get bonus takes from me that maybe don't come up on the YouTube feed. Um, you can try it out for free at thebulwark.com slash free trial. The link is below in the description. Uh, we'd love to have you as a member of our community. Uh, we have great commenters and uh, great opportunities for people who want to protect democracy.